Hello everybody, it's a lovely bright shiny day in Sanctuary. We have Curie with us. You know, we've got to get her sorted and you know how things go. And yes, she is basically my next project. We are going to get Curie to like me. I mean, you know, as much as anyone can, but I'm a, I'm a very fun-loving girl, I think you know. Um, I'm also a very weak girl because I haven't got, you know, any of the perks that make me, um, that make me relatively strong. Come on, Curie, let's go! Okay, so, the very first thing is a grey garden that Curie likes. Curie, Curie, you actually need to be with me for this one. Curie, come on. Come on, pretty little synth. This way. A good girl. Um, slightly patronising, I know, but we are need to speak to. to Curie, come here. Hello. Welcome to Grey Garden, darling. This is the Commonwealth's first and only hydroponics facility, run entirely by robots. Fabulous. Okay, right. So we need to basically be nice, and apparently we can get like Curie to. Be awesome and like us more. That's, That's ingenious. ingenious. I bet you can work around the clock. Among many other benefits. Of course. Hey, she admires me. Allows for constant operation. You see, there are two kinds of robots here. The worker drones carry out labor and maintenance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move on, supervise. move on, supervisor. Yeah, I, I want to be awesome to you. Um, genius. Obviously, the man was brilliant to come up with something like this. I could hardly have said it better. Robot. Okay, so yes. Perhaps you've known. It is quite common for owners to modify a room. Mm -hmm. hmm. It's very well, unique. It's definitely unique. Sort of hard to miss. I'll take that as a compliment, darling. Yeah, After there all, she goes. Yeah, yeah, I think there's like three checks that we can do. Ordinary. Just being nice to these guys. Things, uh -huh. If it's capsuring. Mm -hmm. uh, Tell me, darling. Oh, it's awful. It's awful. <laughs> right. Okay. So, one. right. What we're doing is we're just, just, yeah, fine. All right. Marvelous. Most of our water comes via deer. If you can <laughs> get it working. <laughs> right. So, I don't know if we can do the same with the others, but uh, we'll, we'll we'll talk to the other robots. Okay, actually, let's think about it. Curie, do you want to talk to me by any chance? Let me put, put this away. Bring me some new fruits for Cindy, and there'll be caps for your pocket. Off you go, then. A moment, please. Yes, there we go. Um, Sure. I enjoy talking with you. As do I. I owe you so very much, and I do not mean to sound ungrateful. But... But I fear I am barely holding myself together. Well, I'm here for you. It's all right. I'm here for you. Thank you. That means so much. Becoming a synth is just so overwhelming. You were pretty much always a synth, let's be honest about just this. To master basic functioning. How to brush the teeth, how to operate with only two hands, etc. But now I am full of inconsequential thoughts, feelings. How do you do everything with this whirlwind in the head? Um... Do I want to flirt with her? I, I actually think that's quite cruel to do to, to Curie at the moment. I focus on what's I important. prioritise and tackle what's most important at the time. That's... that's helpful. I know, you wouldn't really you expect it from it Jack. so effortless, like breathing. But for me, it is so hard to focus, to do research. Mm -hmm. And inspiration is as elusive as ever. I fear I will never contribute anything to the world. Well, you've helped the me. World? Not so sure, but you've certainly made a difference to me. More feelings. No words for them. The saving grace in all of this is you. As a robot, I had much appreciation for you. But now, it is deeper. I am still loyal, but now I do this because I want to. Because you are my friend. Um, 
All right, let's hit quick save. Because you know what we're doing, because I can quick save. So, just friends? Nothing more than that? I feel very funny. I must cut this short. My eyes, they are malfunctioning. Adieu. <laughs> okay, that was mean. You should never do that. Okay, I don't know if uh, giving mute fruits to brown. brown. That's the way. Ready to hand over those mute fruits? Yeah, sure. Uh, yes, I shall sell them. Yeah, I'll take those caps now. Jolly good. Here you are. Two caps apiece. Um. No, she didn't like that. Okay. Moving on. All right, so here we are, the next location for Curie. Um, I, I honestly don't know if you know this, but the Cambridge Polymer Labs, most people have done this, but apparently Curie loves this. And we should get immediately approached by the robot. Welcome to the Cambridge Polymer Labs. Employment opportunities await in the field of scientific research. Shall we begin your application now? Um, sarcasm, sure. The world may have ended, but why not sit at a desk all day? Let's see what employment opportunities we have available for someone given your qualifications. Due to increased demands for staff in all fields, we have condensed the employment test accordingly. Question one. Do you possess previous experience with polymer synthesis? Um, you need me, yes, or threaten. Let's go with you need me. Sounds like you need me regardless, so let's get down to brass tacks. Calculating test results. I am pleased to offer you the position of <laughs> sales coordinator. Expect a loquacious future in haggling for military funding. Would you like the orientation before beginning your work? In I like the, the fact that sales is, uh... Um, move it along. No, let's just move it along. Due to staffing needs, we can forego the orientation. Right, basically the orientation we is, is, to the research lab you know. So that you may begin your work. Complimentary beverages are provided for employees. Please label any food or cigarettes you leave in the break room. Uh, I'm oh, sorry, I lost my entire train of thought. We, we're not going to collect this until it's on the way out. Um, but those turrets that you can hear are absolutely coming me. Um, they're the killing staff ghouls. Are provided with a business suit. Take a look. The cost of I which will be deducted from your first commission. Please take a moment to dress in your proper work attire and follow me into the green room. I the am not going to put anything on. On the other side of the clean room. Thank you for your attention and welcome to the team. Please enter the clean room. Right, Kiri, go. Here. I will attend to this. You go, go there. Over there. Yes. Because you're coming with... Please enter the clean room. Get into position. Absolutely. Over I here. I can't you. There you go. That's better. Okay, let's go around here because immediately over here. Uh, there starts to be rads in that room. Good job. Please report to the project lead. Dr. Elwood Woolham for specific Right, so basically, you are now trapped in here, um, and you can't go anywhere unless you um, complete the little project thing, and basically, you have to put two things here, a radioactive isotope sample there, and... find some useful data here. Yeah, whatevs. And, um... Yeah, so, so you put things in there, and you make some, um some research i guess uh, uh this place is filled with ghouls that were here when the bombs fell um i always think those holes are um magazines for some reason um yeah full of ghouls people were here when the bombs fell um they basically locked them in because um you find out later that they couldn't get evac'd unless they were in fact i'm going to heal myself they couldn't get evac'd unless they actually had um, their project finished um, and they would be shot so yeah they, they were forced to stay in here so I'm going to have a, a wander around and I'm going to do some things where's my much ups there they are there you go perfect and I've got my kneecap shotgun which I've uh, 
Hi. Basically, yeah, feral ghouls. Down in one. <laughs> I love shotguns. I really do. They are my favourite weapon in any game. Machine gun turret actually... No, 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 no. So, yeah. Loving it. But yeah, the machine guns won't fire because I'm at, I actually work here. So I'm supposed to be here, which is all fine. Okay, so this is the isotope containment fit terminal. And what we're going to do is we're going to open this up. So to open up the door to the, obviously, the isotope. Um, inside there is a glowing one. I think I can take them out now. Now that I've got this shotgun, at least, with some psycho jet. So there shouldn't be a problem there. But um, I don't need to go there straight away. I'll just wander around and get all the isotopes around here. Okay, so basically the emergency lockdown, we can uh, reset the security door, open the door, and then uh, and then you get that noise. And there is a glowing one through there. It's just a regular glowing one, and this shotgun is quite powerful. There is a, a nice sample in there, but we won't get there just yet, so... Move, yeah, basically we can't. We've got to go through a whole thing. But there are some... No, I want the sample, not the, the stand. But yeah, there are some there are some things around and, you know, we'll go around and get stuff. Right, there's the glowing one. Oh, and this door is actually open now. Right, so... Um, basically, I am just going to take some Psycho Jets. And some Radex. And a stim pack to get some healing going. And we're gonna... Uh, oh, I took off his legs! I love, I love this gun. Oh, I've just drinking the heavily irradiated water um, instead of murdering the psycho jet and I think there is actually the only only way to get across is to swim so that's great and that is the radioactive isotope isotope yeah I think you can actually f there is some some place here where you have to actually fall in from the ceiling I am actually going, that annoys me that sound, so I am actually going to turn off and shut that door. Actually, I like this little tableau here. Um, the guy, very British, wearing a hat, uh, committed suicide with rat poison in a tea kettle. But he has this sample. I'm not sure if it's actually a useful one. But this is where you can go and drop down into various places. I do believe... It's the very last place you want to go. Because that'll take you back out there. And then there's something down there. And then around the corner, there's something else. And I can never remember what is down here. Um, they try Basically, they tried to escape the labs. Um, thanks for dropping that down. He was quite nippy. Um, what was the isotope round here? It's definitely an isotope ramen meat. Oh, that's a nice steak. I'm not taking the skull. I want to see what's in the potato and dirty water. What's in here? Oh, there it is. That's the one I believe that I need now. So we can... And... Door control terminal... I think we can just unlock it, can't we? Yeah. Open door. Yes, yes, open door. And we are back down. Fabulous. Let's go solve. Can I just open that door? I feel bad if we just being left in here. Also, there's, there's things I want to loot in here. Like this sample which I'm pretty sure I don't need 
Hazmat suit, always useful, especially for what's coming up soon. If you don't know what's coming up soon. Yeah, yeah. It's not fun. Which room did I come out of? This room? Uh, hang on, I need to reorientate myself. Okay, so this terminal tells us what we need to know. So we need gold, lithium, and conversion of ionizing radiation. So we need to find which one of these is... I like this quest. This quest is a nice quest for harkening back to uh, a bit to New Vegas. So we're going to just place in whatever samples we've got. Um, and we need something... Oh, lithium hydride, I think it was. Um, scan loaded reagents. Go. Lithium hydride and hydrochloric acid. So we take out the hydrochloric acid and um, just start checking the rest. I don't think it's that one. But you know, scan gallium which uh, melts in hot water. Uh, this one, I don't think it's oh, I suppose it might be that one. Gold. Okay, so we want those two in there and then here we insert our isotope sample and you should like that I complete this. Okay, now that she's watching, we're gonna turn this baby bat, this baby bad boy. Um, run loaded fabrication routine. And we can just watch it go. So basically what I'm assuming is this is designed to put holes in the piece and then add in the lithium hydride and the gold to, to work and then you get piezonucleic power armor chest. Um, fabulous. We've complete. Curie loved that. Did you? Did you love it? Did you love it? Did you love it? Did you love it? Anyway, um, let's go back in. Talk to the I Molly. Have been instructed to inform you that Director Elwood. Yes, I've completed it. Overtime due to uncompleted milestones. Have you completed the research on the piece of I have indeed. Project? I'm really, really good. It's done. The prototype is done. Wonderful. Mandatory overtime mode disengaged. Clean room override disengaged. I don't want to see this immediately. Please, follow me. What did... Oh, hang on. Oh, okay, right. Hey, do you need something? For Here's me? the thing. Um, what's just happened there, which really threw me for a second. Um... Give her a mini gun. Why not? Um, is that the piezonucleic armor chest? Because it was a quest item, was um, had no weight, but um, it does when it stops being a quest item and starts being a reward. I think. So we'll just give that to Curie um, and follow this lady up to the manager's office. Where did that robot go? There we go. Following. This is Director Elwood's office. I expect he will be quite excited to see the prototype. It's very, very good that. Uh... Here we go. This is our director. <laughs> director Elwood. Oh no, she's not attacking me. That's good. Um. Sir, wonderful news. The Nucleus Drifted Plating Project has finally produced a working prototype. Director Elwood, HR has requested that I remind you to respect employees' personal space. Yes, exactly. I must apologize for the director. He hasn't been himself lately. Must be the office blue. Payroll systems indicate that I have been authorized to provide you with a completion bonus at this time. Yeah, personal Here's space, love. Bonus. You just mentioned Minus that. Taxes and benefits. Unfortunately, due to 25 lack of free projects, monies. we must lay off redundant staff members at this time. This is not a reflection on your work, and we will be happy to provide you with a positive reference. I'm straight, Shut you would. Down. Okay, CPL director's key. Okay. Right, what does that open is the next question. And as you saw, Please. Massachusetts Surgical Journal, permanently fit. Hang on, hang on. Plus two limb damage with my kneecap as shotgun. Oh, so, that's going to be so sweet. Anything of science in there? Um, that one is actually the Massachusetts Journal of Medicine rather than a comic book. Love. Fusion core. 
which I will not be able to use because I can't use power armor in this run through. Terrific. Yeah, I'm just guessing that key opens up his office. Um, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Anyway, what we are doing now is we are head heading off to the next part. Okay, I decided to... Give Curie for now the Wounding Radium Rifle. Right, so she can equip that. I don't know why, it's just... I haven't really wanted to play with it yet, to be honest. I mean, it does take me a while to decide what I want to play with. Um... Apparently it's it's from the uh, the 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 new yes. DLC, so that should be fun to play with. So Nick, who is my buddy? Actually, thinking about it, I cannot remember what are my perks. Um, close to metal. So Nick, one extra guess and fifty percent terminal cooldown when hacking. Uh, it's a bit crap. Um, mm, Robot Sympathy. Cod's worth 10% damage resistance against robot energy weapons. That's crap. You, oh, there we go. 20% more damage and 20% when facing three or more opponents. That's... I'm not sure how that works. But okay. That's fine. Um, and I think I've actually got all the really worst bits and pieces, to be honest. You know. Oh, well. Hello there, Lucas. You got anything good? I'm an old gullet sinkhole. To be made protecting folk. Um, in case you're wondering, so I didn't realise you um Lucas. Hey. Got armor didn't realise he put past boy this way. Boy? Yeah, past boy this way. No. No, he's not got anything good. And passing through Grey Garden. Good place to get your mute fruit fruit supplies up if you really need to. Um, but other than that, I'm not taking it because then I'd have to defend it. And here we are at the slog, and we're here for one very, very simple reason. If Curie will die to follow me, we're looking for Wiseman. Because she likes it when... Hang if on. You wanna help us out, hop in the no, 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 I'm looking for Wiseman. There. Welcome to the slog. We're the only Tarberry bog in the Commonwealth. So what do you think of the place? I love it. It's very impressive. It's pretty clever, making a tarberry bog out of an old swimming pool. I appreciate your saying so. When I came across this place, it was the first time I'd seen anything like it. It seemed like a shame not to use it for something. You probably noticed it's only ghouls around here. Yeah, I did I used to live that. in Diamond City. Until that rat bastard mayor threw me and all the other ghouls out. Yeah, that I decided rat bastard. that we ghouls should have a place where we could feel welcome. And that's mainly why I started up this farm. That is... Um... That's a very good idea. You've done well. It looks like you've done well for yourselves. It's a good start, yeah. And I'm proud of all the work we've done. Still, I think we can do more. What if this place could be more than just a refuge for ghouls who aren't welcome elsewhere? What if it could also be an example of what we can do when we put our minds to something and work together? That it works for me. It be a place that everyone looks for. I actually to visit, really like the slog. Smiling faces. I think bargains, pretty much everyone who likes produce. Hancock as a rule likes it. Maybe we can make it. people take a second look, you know? Maybe then they'd see that we're not monsters. I'm not all monsters. That is a great idea. I think it's a great idea. Yeah. Thanks for saying so. And I'm Curie loved that. Deirdre's always looking to trade supplies for caps, and Holly could use a hand gathering tarberries. It's been good talking with you. I hope you'll visit us again. I will. Curie, come on, idolize me. For sale. Idolize me. Scrounged up. Let me know if you want to trade. Right, so she's not idolised yet. Okay, I'm going to do another quest. All right, here I am in Diamond City with my Synthy friend. You rescued Valentine. Good work. Yeah, right, so uh, we actually want to go and speak to the Bobrov brothers. Hang on. Is dug out in down here? Yeah. No. No, it's not. Oh, I've lost the dugout in. No! Right, now I need to go speak to Vadim! 
Oh, here we go. Hello. All right, you. Tell me. Diamond City Radio is terrible, yes? Makes you want to cut. Yes, I agree. Yeah, it's pretty bad. This is what I tell you, Pim. Something must be done. Radio is bad for business. Makes customers unhappy. Exactly. We have unhappy customers listening to bad DJ, or we have no music in customers. I have water. not listened to the radio. It's true. Everywhere. Someone needs to get rid of him. We need a new DJ for the radio. I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. Um, that is a horrible idea. That's a horrible idea. I tell you, it would be easier than you think. You just have to talk to... Uh, you just have to talk him into following you out of town. What oh, a right. criminal That's suggestion, enough. monsieur. Vadim isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. Uh, having a laugh, was he? Right. We're all just having a laugh. Hey, okay, good. I didn't want you to get the wrong idea. <laughs> it's mm, true. Yeah. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Yeah, that's Travis, what worries me. He, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job or anything else, really. And okay. So he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything. And so he does. No, I know people like that. Um, so uh, you want to turn it around then? Well, that can always be turned around. Exactly. This is what I'm telling you, him. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. Terrific. Okay, so we're in the back room. Which can be overheard by this girl um, pretty easily. Okay, right. What do you want, Vadim? I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my dead beat brother. Mm hmm. Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. Okay, I'm happy to, mm, happy to help. Happy to help. Okay, so Travis needs to believe in himself, yes? Believe he is capable of more. Uh -huh. You know what works well for this? <laughs> a bar fight. Have uh, you been in one? Um, no, I have not, ever. I'm not some thug. I don't get involved in stuff like that. Some of us are civilized. Yeah, uh, what she said. What if it was for good cause? Then would you be willing? I want to stage fight here in dugout. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? I'm on board. I'm on board. When do we start? Why not soon as possible? I have contacts. People like in Yeah, Tampa. okay, fine. It's been on. Confront then you and Yeah, Travis. okay. Simple, right? Simple. I have everything ready by six o'clock. Travis should be here by then. You show up and it will go well. Yeah, okay. I've heard that story before. Okay, meet Travis in the dugout in after six o'clock. What is the time? The time now. Oh. Well, it's a six o'clock. Okay, a 12 hour, a short 12 hour wait. Um, and you are, where are your thugs? Oh, in they come. I, I can't believe Doc Crocker killed Earl. Glad I only ever had to deal with Doc's son. Oh, uh, I should get your order. Yeah, don't care. Not interested. Not looking to buy right now. All right. Right, so those guys are Bull and... What? What? What's this about? Maybe uh, I don't literally like... Literally nothing is... ...program. What you have to say about that. Oh. You tell him. <laughs> He's that guy that in every bully movie that just goes, look, look, I don't yeah, want to I don't like standing you, behind the bully. Like your radio. What you gonna do about it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you just leave me alone? Maybe I don't like your little radio program. Oh Christ Almighty! What do you have to say about that? You tell him. 
Hey there, pal. <clears throat> look, 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 I don't want any trouble. Would well, he just oh, spot spew in that whole thing? Um, okay, um, I'm, I'm here to help. I'm here to give you a hand. I, I, I mean, I'm not really looking to cause, you know, trouble. Yeah. I, I have no idea what I did to deserve this. I just wish they'd go away. Um, mm, let's do something let's about do it. Let's do something about this then. No, no, I, I, that might end badly. With these men, it could, well, it, it could. Oh, well, here's hoping. That is, like, the plan. I've got Don't your worry. back. I've got your back. Well, if you think it would work... There you go, Kiri, like that. Let's see. Uh, okay, that's... Well, that's enough. Oh, yep. I'm sorry. You say something. I said... I said that's enough. Yeah, he Leave did. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, teleporting. Look at you. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Um, nah, I don't think so. I, I mean it. Leave me alone. Come on, Travis. Like you were thinking about saying, or else. <laughs> were you throw Travis? the first punch? Somebody say, throw a punch. Else? I'm wondering what comes after that. What you gonna do, little man? Well, his nose uh, is massive. I'll beat you up. Big mistake, Travis. I'm gonna destroy you and your friend here. Why Get lost. Cool. Hi. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, he's down. And that's basically it. Yeah, okay, right, Travis. Travis. This is such a bad idea. Why oh. am I doing this? Excuse me. Oh, God, my jaw. Bullshit, man. Just bullshit. This is bullshit, man. This is not what I signed up for. Travis. This ain't over. Whoa. You hear me? I can't believe it. We did it. Yeah, we did it. Um, I, I knew you could. I knew you had it in you. I can't, I can't believe it. You were right. Oh, I've, I've got things to do now. Listen, really, I, I can't thank you enough. Okay, so you've helped Travis. Now we talk to Vadim. <laughs> I think that went well. I think you're not wrong. <laughs> Ready for the next part of foolproof plan? Oh, God. Bring it on. Bring it on. Good attitude. It's nice and easy. You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Now... Oh, yeah, I someone... remember this part. Sarcasm. Oh, that'll totally boost his confidence. You know, as long as it doesn't backfire horribly. So little faith. Yeah, okay, basically, he just you wants him to have a girlfriend. Hmm. Or at least, you know... Off, young lady. And where is she? Thinking about it. Um, yeah, I want confidence. What is actually on? Oh, uh, talk to Jack. Oh, right. So, oh, we get the gun. Okay, where is she? She is outside. Great. Right, Scarlet. Would you be willing Miss? to boff a DJ? I'm on a break right now. Ah, uh, yeah, Travis. Actually, I'd like to talk to you about Travis, if you have a moment. Travis? Really? Did yeah, yeah. Right? Uh, I heard about the fight. Okay, right. Yes, he yeah. was. Uh, you think? Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I do. I okay. <laughs> Pribe. Um, well. Can I get easier speech checks? Are you nervous? What are you so nervous about? What's the worst that could happen? Believe me, I can think of some pretty. Uh -huh. Look, yeah, you're I'm just, just... Not ready for that. Oh right, fine. Persuade. Look, Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him, and I think he likes you. Just go talk to him. Okay, I will. I'll go see him now. Thanks. Yeah. We have talked to Yafim now. Yes, da. 
All right, Yefim. Hi. This is terrible. Oh, I knew. Yep, okay. I knew it. He was up to no. Yeah, okay. So basically, Yefim, um, sorry, Take Vadim has be been, um, they took him. They took Vadim. has been kidnapped by the guys who, you know, to do something. Please tell he me. paid to throw that fight. I'll bring him back. I'll bring him back. Yeah. Please just bring him back. Yeah. Talk to Travis. Maybe he knows where they took him. Okay. Let's go talk to Travis, Curie. Hey there. Hi, Travis. On? Um. Really? Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh. I need your help. I need your help. Vadim's been kidnapped by Bull. That's not funny. Yeah, this is serious, bro. I'm not joking around, Travis. This is serious. I really do need your help. Wait. Really? Oh. Oh, man. Wow. Is this... This is because of what happened, isn't it? It's... It's my fault. It's... It's, like, it's totally not your no, fault. No, Travis. This is between Vadim and those men. It's not your fault. But if I hadn't gotten into that fight with them, maybe this wouldn't have happened. No. They have played Jeez. It's all the fool. Look, I don't I don't really I mean I don't have a lot of friends. If yeah, no, really. Wow. In trouble or whatever. Then I'm gonna help get him back. Okay, fine. Alright. I'd welcome the help. Good. It's also someone else who is immortal to, have to, to take shots for me. You. I've heard enough to know they're probably holed up at the old Beantown Brewery. We've got to go in there, show them we mean business, and and then we can bring Vadim back, and everything will be okay. Right? Right. I'll, I'll get a gun, and I'll meet you there. We'll settle this. Fabulous. We must talk. Oh! So very, very distracting. You know this, yes? Um. I. Mm, quick save. Right, let's. Let's. Um. Okay, right, we're going to do this in front of Scarlet then. You're pretty distracting yourself. I had a point, a reason. Oh, yes. My control of feelings is worse than before. And you. You are no help, <laughs> with your teasing of poor little Curie. But it is not just you. Sometimes a simple compliment, nice hair, and I am flustered, confused. Other times, people suggest the strangest and most lurid things, and I am even more confused. Why do people do this? Um. <laughs> it's just, just be mean to her. Just be mean. Because you're so cute when you're confused. You are not making any of this easier, you. Oh, I must get a handle on this if I am ever to advance my experiments. Oh, was that it? Um. Hey. May I be of assistance? Just talk. Hi. For you, I have time. Really? So, uh. How's our relationship Just doing? Just wanted to check in. See how you feel things are going between us. I enjoy our traveling together. It is very satisfying. Okay. All right, let's see what Travis has got to say for himself. We're at the Beantown Brewery. Oh, I'm so close to living up. <clears throat> oh, thank God. You're here. Mm -hmm. So this is it. Yeah, Azar, this is what got you've Vadim. got. He's inside. We're we're gonna be okay, right? Ah, uh, stay cool. Just keep a cool head, okay? Don't think about it too much. Okay, right. Sure. Yeah. Breathe. Get plenty of oxygen into your blood. It will help. Any uh? Any last minute advice? Um. I've never done anything like this. Mmm. Stay calm. Just Stay calm. Don't go crazy in there. Right. Calm. I You're calm. immortal anyway, calm, 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 so, calm, you know, calm. no big deal. Okay. Can we just get in there before I totally lose my nerve? Yep. Crouchy, crouchy. Okay. I believe... There. Is uh, a thing in there. 
And there's definitely this guy. Okay. Oh, I do so love this gun. Perfect time to level up. Okay, I oh, I love the fact that doing all that yesterday has given me like critical banker and ninja. I say yesterday. It wasn't yesterday. Oh. Really? Okay. Um so yes, so we now have critical banker which is flipping insane. Just insane. Okay, that's Bull down, and Gouge down, and Tower Tom down, because yes, that's right, three named. Um, there will still be some... Hi, Travis. There will still be some people around, just like regular ones. Yeah, okay, fine. There we go. Hi! Die. Okay, right, so let's go and get some more powerful. I'll take it. I'm not sure it's better than what I've got. Where is Bull? Bull was there. Seriously? I will take the grease jacket and jeans. Um, hey! Thank you. I didn't know if anyone would come. I thought perhaps this is the end. Uh, Could still be. You, thank you. You are true friend. You're welcome. You're welcome, Vadim. We weren't going to leave you to these guys. You are good, woman. <laughs> <laughs> these idiots had caps and cams just lying around. <laughs> they, they did not notice when I filled my pockets. With your hands behind you your back. what I took. Damn straight I do. I am surprised to see you here. <laughs> Aren't we all? Hey, Vadim. I'm glad you're safe. Yeah, he's How did you doesn't get broke into this? I, I wasn't forced or anything. I wanted to help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are full of surprises, my friend. Yep, yeah, okay. Right. Travis. Hey there. Man. What a day, huh? Mm -hmm. Hey, listen. I wanted to say thanks. This has been... Well, it's been crazy. But I've learned a lot, I think. That's good to hear. You came through it all pretty well, Travis. That's good to hear. Thanks. Your accomplishments are most impressive. After yeah, all damn this, straight she did. I think about the things that... But I think that's the last so of the things that we've got that... Really? You know? Like, mm, I need to go look up some more curious related really that stuff. worried about just being on the radio? That's nothing compared to being beaten up, shot at. I can do so much more. And I need to. Well, yeah, anyway, you do. Thanks again. I owe you. Yeah, you do. Oh, and how much XP's? 381, not bad. All right, there is one thing that we can do. One day, sanctuary will be a vibrant community. I've seen it. It already is. If Sturgis would stop hammering things, then, uh, Mama but Mama. yes. Got some men tats for me? See where the no, I don't really says. need you. No more chems. You're an addict. You need help. Oh, not this again. Kid, listen to me. I'm old. Even older than you'd think. If the chems are gonna kill me, then I say I've had a good run. We'd have never made it this far without the sight. We need it. You need it. It's part of who I am. No, it's part of who you were. Right. Save, and we are going to persuade her until the she sight does. Isn't worth killing yourself over, Mama Murphy. It doesn't have to define what you are or what you can give. All right, kid. Holy yeah, crap, that was a first timer. Me hanging around for a little longer is worth that much to you. Then I'll go clean. No more cams, no more sight. Sweet. And that gets her out of the chair. My chair now. My chair now. 
Kiri. Hey, you need something here. over here. At once. I am now wanting drugs. That's that's the drawl. Um, really. Excuse me. What shall we talk about? Um, never mind. Didn't have anything else. Not a problem. Let us Let me think. Okay, I think we've done all we're doing for today. I think next episode, what we shall do is we shall make sure Curie loves us. Or shall love us and despair. I've been Zombie Cleo. This has been Fallout 4. Jack of all trades. Class dismissed. <laughs>